Hi, we're here at WGNTV.com with a very special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself to the camera? Yeah, I'm Alan Wilder from Recoil. I've got Paul Kendall with us as well. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm um, very well, thank you. So why do you tell people exactly what mm. Recoil is all about? Like, give us the, you know, because so for people, yeah. you know, they're familiar with some of the stuff you've done in the past. Like, yeah. what, what makes this different and unique? Well, it's a project that's been going for a long time, it, in fact. I, I started it when I was still a member of Depeche Mode, and then when I left the band, I carried it on. And it's, it's not a band. It's a kind of collaborative process, which I, I run, and then I involve different vocalists to come and contribute to it. So over the years, we've had many different contributors. And now, we're, for the first time, we're taking it on the road, and it's been forever to do this. But with the technology the way it is, I've found the find a way that I feel I can present this whole thing. We use big film projection. We have smaller screens here with us today for the TV shoot, but for the live show, we have a huge screen, projector film, and then we kind of present this sort of mix of recoil material using laptops, uh, Ableton Live, Paul does effects here, and I have a synthesizer normally. And, you know, so it's a, it's a sort of unusual show, but it works somehow. So, and you said you use the big screen uh, with video. Like, where do you guys get the video from? Like, well, various people have helped make the film. We have one here today. Igor is with us. Uh, and two or three other people have contributed. They're all people who have con contacted me over the years and said, we really want to do something for you. And as I was saying, you know, with the advent of small HD cameras, editing software, it's, it's a much more affordable thing. It wouldn't have been a viable option to do this in the past. And uh, it just we couldn't have logistically impossible, really too expensive and all that. So now, people have been sending me in films and I've been kind of giving my feedback. We've put it all together with the music and made it work. And you said now this is the first time you've taken it out on the road, mm. correct? Yeah. How long have you been out on the road so far? Well, we have did a we did a European tour earlier in the year, in spring, which was really very successful. Uh, we went all over the place, you know, for, uh, Eastern Europe, Russia, Romania, Poland, Germany, France, all over the place. We did a, a show down in Mexico, and we're going back to Mexico and South America um, after this North European, sorry, North American leg we're doing now. Mm -hmm. So far, we've done the West Coast, and that was great. We've done some great shows in the last few days. And we're just working our way to Chicago tonight, the, the Metro tonight. There are a few tickets left if anyone wants to come down. Gary Newman is also on the bill. It's a double act. So um, this is a unique event tonight to um, get down there. And tomorrow we're up to Toronto. And uh, if people want to come up for that show, there's a few tickets left there as well. So that's at the Opera House in Toronto. So how do people find you on the web? Uh, Recoil.co.uk. Um, there's a Facebook page. There's MySpace. There's all the usual places. Um, you only have to search Recoil and you'll find it. So... Uh, and you said some of the things that you did here, you used laptops, and what were the, these couple of things here? I'm just going to scroll okay. down over here. Paul, like. you could explain a bit about <clears> that, <throat> can you? Basically, it's like a front-of-house mixer, but it allows me to, to control the sound actually from the stage. So I've got a series of faders that, that mirror what the front-of-house can do, so I can control, control the volumes. But also I can control all effects from here on the music and also the parameters of the effects. So in some ways, it's actually much more flexible than a front-of-house mixer, which we would, um, we would normally use. So we create all the sound here. The, the front-of-house just takes our feed. And we use uh, lo uh, lo Ableton Live is the software we use because that's really designed specifically for that kind of purpose. Um, yeah, and it's a very flexible program. You know, it can be really quick to change things around. Very yeah. cool. So how long is this tour going on for, the one that you, you said you're going to Toronto tomorrow, you're in Chicago tonight? How, and how, is that, are those, how many more uh, dates okay. do you have after that? A few that? more dates. Um, uh, there's going to be... Not to push you on the spot. Yeah, well, <laughs> as I said, there's Toronto, uh -huh. which is uh, Wednesday, in uh, the Opera House. Montreal and uh, Hamilton, and then we go to Baltimore, uh, and we finish at the High Line in New York, which is on the 1st oh, okay. of November, I believe. Yeah, great. That should be a great show, and then we go down to South America. Washington. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for stopping by, guys. We appreciate you having me here. Thank you. It's a great pleasure. Thanks.